So there's a few polishing techniques that can be really helpful as lyricists to express the song lyric in a way where it's received without the listener having to play detective. One of the things we notice in really concrete, literal lyrics, or lyrics that use a lot of imagery, is sentences are completed. So when we begin a thought in line one, we complete that thought, usually at least by line three. So it's not a litany of fragments that the listener then has to put together. So a way to determine whether your lyric is reading with good conversational quality is to read it out loud and make sure that there's an agreement between where your harmonic progression, your chord progressions, cadence, and the ends of your sentences. Make sure that you're also adding in words that we use in natural speech to connect ideas. Pronouns, prepositions and conjunctions. You're using and, but, as, with, for, yet, still. Words like that, that help to clarify our meaning. And if you think about it, they really don't take away or add much real estate in terms of the stress pattern of our lyric, but they make it really easy for the listener to take in our message. When you're using imagery, allow your lyric to contain those bits and pieces that help the listener to simply stay in the feeling of the song rather than pull out and have to do the work of understanding the message before feeling the message. Another easy polishing technique is to try changing the point of view of your song. So if you wrote the song in I, so where the singer is the main character. Try writing the song as direct address. You, you know when, or you do this, you feel that. Sometimes in direct address, we can flip over to we in the chorus so that the message becomes universal and it's implied that it pertains to all of us. Sometimes we can take a lyric that's in I or you and exchange that for he or she and suddenly the lyric takes on a quality that just feels right. Exchanging the point of view from I to you or you to I or to he or she or we in different sections of the song too can be a wonderful polishing technique that can save a song from instant death where you thought it wasn't working and suddenly it is or just simply allow you some insight into how the song seems to connect and engage best with the listener. Another polishing tool we can easily apply is tense. Tense helps us determine when each section of the song is happening. It can also help us to iron out a melodic motif so when we add ed at the end of a verb or we take it away, it changes sometimes the number of syllables that we need. I'm walking, I walked. Changes the melody itself too. So sometimes we can just simply overlook the tense of the lyric and notice how we can use it to express our melody better a tighter, cleaner melody, and also to keep that tense consistent. Just like we do in natural speech, we don't suddenly change from I'm walking and then I'll see. It doesn't make any sense. So don't allow those uh, issues to make it into your lyric where you're changing tense and the listener is then focused more on the structure of your lyric instead of really feeling and being in what you're saying. So those are some simple polishing tools of tense and point of view and not allowing your lyric to be fragmented that help the lyric to keep the listener in the moment instead of on the outside of the experience.